Why use abstract base classes in Python? Because I am used to the old ways of duck typing in Python, I fail to understand the need for ABC, abstract base classes. The help is good on how to use them. I tried to read the rationale in the pep, but it went over my head. If I was looking for a mutable sequence container, would check for underscore underscore set item underscore underscore, or more likely try to use it, eep. I haven't come across a real life use for the numbers module, which does use ABCs, but that is the closest I have to understanding. Can anyone explain the rationale to me, please? At Odd Thinking's answer is not wrong, but I think it misses the real, practical reason Python has ABCs in a world of duck typing. Abstract methods are neat, but in my opinion they don't really fill any use cases not already covered by duck typing. Abstract base classes' real power lies in the way they allow you to customize the behavior of isinstance and isobclass. Underscore underscore subclass hook underscore underscore is basically a friendlier API on top of Python's underscore underscore instance check underscore underscore and underscore underscore subclass check underscore underscore hooks, adapting built-in constructs to work on custom types is very much part of Python's philosophy. Python source code is exemplary. Here is how collections.container is defined in the standard library at time of writing. This definition of underscore underscore subclass hook underscore underscore says that any class with a underscore underscore contains underscore underscore attribute is considered to be a subclass of container even if it doesn't subclass it directly. So I can write this. In other words, if you implement the right interface, you're a subclass. ABCs provide a formal way to define interfaces in Python while staying true to the spirit of duck typing. Besides, this works in a way that honors the open-closed principle. Python's object model looks superficially similar to that of a more traditional OO system, by which I mean Java asterisk, we got your classes, your objects, your methods, but when you scratch the surface you'll find something far richer and more flexible. Likewise, Python's notion of abstract base classes may be recognizable to a Java developer, but in practice they are intended for a very different purpose. I sometimes find myself writing polymorphic functions that can act on a single item or a collection of items, and I find isinstance x collections dot iterable to be much more readable than hasitor x underscore underscore iter underscore underscore or an equivalent try dot 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 except block. If you didn't know Python, which of those three would make the intention of the code clearest? That said, I find that I rarely need to write my own ABC and I typically discover the need for one through refactoring. If I see a polymorphic function making a lot of attribute checks or lots of functions making the same attribute checks, that smell suggests the existence of an ABC waiting to be extracted. Asterisk without getting into the debate over whether Java is a e-traditional AOO system. Addendum, even though an abstract base class can override the behavior of isinstance and isobclass, it still doesn't enter the MRO of the virtual subclass. This is a potential pitfall for clients, not every object for which isinstance x myapk equals equals true has the methods defined on myapk. Unfortunately this one of those just don't do that e traps of which Python has relatively few, avoid defining ABCs with both a underscore underscore subclass hook underscore underscore and non-abstract methods. Moreover, you should make your definition of underscore underscore subclass hook underscore underscore consistent with the set of abstract methods your ABC defines. Short version. ABCs offer a higher level of semantic contract between clients and the implemented classes. Long version. There is a contract between a class and its callers. The class promises to do certain things and have certain properties. There are different levels to the contract. At a very low level, the contract might include the name of a method or its number of parameters. In a statically typed language, that contract would actually be enforced by the compiler. In Python, you can use EAP or type introspection to confirm that the unknown object meets this expected contract. But there are also higher level, semantic promises in the contract. For example, if there is a underscore underscore str underscore underscore method, it is expected to return a string representation of the object. It could delete all contents of the object, commit the transaction and spit a blank page out of the printer, but there is a common understanding of what it should do, described in the Python manual. 
that's a special case, where the semantic contract is described in the manual. What should the print method do? Should it write the object to a printer or a line to the screen or something else? It depends, you need to read the comments to understand the full contract here. A piece of client code that simply checks that the print method exists has confirmed part of the contract, that a method call can be made, but not that there is agreement on the higher level semantics of the call. Defining an abstract base class, ABC, is a way of producing a contract between the class implementers and the callers. It isn't just a list of method names, but a shared understanding of what those methods should do. If you inherit from this ABC, you are promising to follow all the rules described in the comments, including the semantics of the print method. Python's duct typing has many advantages in flexibility over static typing, but it doesn't solve all the problems. ABCs offer an intermediate solution between the freeform of Python and the bondage and discipline of a statically typed language. A handy feature of ABCs is that if you don't implement all necessary methods and properties, you get an error upon instantiation, rather than an attribute error, potentially much later, when you actually try to use the missing method. Example from this URL. Edit to include Python 3 syntax. Thanks at Pandas Rocks. It will make determining whether an object supports a given protocol without having to check for presence of all the methods in the protocol or without triggering an exception deep in enemy territory due to non support much easier. Abstract methods make sure that whatever method you are calling in the parent class, has to also appear in the child class. Below are normal ways of calling and using abstract. The program is written in Python 3. Normal way of calling. Method underscore one is called. Note implemented error. With abstract method. Type error, can't instantiate abstract class son with abstract methods method underscore 2. Since method underscore 2 is not called in child class we got error. The proper implementation is below. Method underscore 1 is called. Thank <laughs> you.